How's it going, DJ Kit TV? This is Ben here at Mackie at NAM 2012, and I'm here to tell you about the brand new Mackie DL1608. It combines the power of a 16 channel digital live sound mixer with the ease and portability of the iPad. As you can see, the iPad is the main user interface for our 16 channel digital mixer. Now, the mixer hardware is doing all the hard work. That's where all my 16 mic pre's are analog gains here. These are our Onyx mic pre's. Each of those channels has EQ, comp, and gate. And I have eight outputs. These are on quarter inch balance TRS. Each of those has 31 band graphic and a limiter, plus the main left right has the same. I have a reverb and a delay as well with dedicated sends. All that again is happening in the mixer. It's doing all the hard work. The iPad is our big, beautiful touchscreen user interface to control the mixer. As you can see, I have it slid into the tray now and it's connected via the 30 pin dock connector. And I can simply slide it out and you'll see it switch over to wireless operation. Just have a wireless router plugged into the back um, allowing me to make that wireless con control. So now I can do everything I did wired connected over wirelessly. In fact, I can have 10 iPad devices connected wirelessly to the same mixer. So that means every member of the band could mix their own monitors, for example. Front of house engineer or a monitor engineer could have a iPad each and control the mixer separately, use it in a, a restaurant and have various iPads at stations throughout the restaurant. Lots of flexibility to control your mix wirelessly. Let's take a look at the user interface, just show you how easy it is to use and how powerful the user interface is. I simply swipe left or right to show me my input channels. I have 16, so here's the first eight, and there's the last eight, very fast. On the left, on the right here, you'll see that the master fader is always present. So no matter what, I always get control of my master. Right now, I'm looking at the left-right mix, and this is my left-right master. If I swipe up, I got my aux one mix and my aux one master. Swipe up again, aux two mix, aux two master, and back. So very fast, very fluid to get around. Every channel has what you expect, solo, your mute, your pan, faders. I can grab multiple faders and drag them around. You'll notice when I adjust those, they grow and glow, giving you nice positive feedback that it's under your control. You can name the channels, but you can also load some channel images. We have some presets here that come with the mixer, so there's my female lead vocalist. Or I can even take a picture from my photo library. Whoops, hit the wrong button there. Hit, take a picture from my photo library. Oh, oh I know what I'm doing. From my photo stream here that I've taken pictures and load that onto a channel. Now I know that he's in con on box two, making it real easy to identify. That's the mix view. The other place you're going to be spending time is the channel view. Hit the EQ at the top of the channel. Now I'm looking at the channel processing. My master fader is still there and I have the channel fader I'm controlling here on the other side. Adjust your EQ, pinch to zoom. I have controls at the bottom if I just want to adjust just the frequency or just the gain at once or I can grab the ball and go to town there. Dedicated high pass filter, sweepable. I can swipe up from here and here is the gate and compressor for the channel. Easy, swipe a third time, reverb, delay. These are a global reverb and a global delay with a dedicated send from every channel that's independent of your aux send. So you actually don't use up an aux send to get to those effects. Swipe back left and right to go to the next and previous channels. Very fast, very fluid. If I pop back to the mixer, you can see here on the right side here, I could push the graphic EQ. And this is where I adjust the output processing. As I said, 31 bands on all my outputs and a limiter. This is the left-right EQ, or the left-right EQ now. Again, swipe up, there's my aux one graphic. You have snapshots to recall the state of the whole console and presets to recall individual channels. And one last thing, when I connect the iPad back using the wired uh, connection, I actually get a 17th channel labeled iPad. This is where I send music playback from the iPad directly into the mixer. Intermission music from my music library or backing tracks from uh, any app on my iPad that supports background playback. 
I also have a stereo recording stream coming out of my mixer into the uh, iPad. Hit record, st start recording that main mix. Hit it again, I've stopped and I now have a stereo recording 24-44-1 of the, of the show. Upload that to the web, burn a CD, whatever you want to do afterwards, great. There are lots of accessories. An included one is this lock. Plug that in and that lets me lock the iPad permanently in place for uh, any uh, uh, venue that you want to have it permanently attached or dedicate an iPad right to your mixer. We have a rat kit, bags, covers, everything you need. So check out the new DL1608 today. Uh, we're shipping soon and it's going to be a great 16 channel live sound mixer for an incredibly low price. So check it out today.